Hi there, Russell Davis from the Fertile Mind. I wasn't actually kind of planning to, to do this video, but I was just prompted by two bits of news and I thought I'd share them with you and share what's going on with me and my reactions, because I think it kind of, yeah, whatever we're going through, our thinking and our emotions uh, uh, play a role in that and our thinking creates our experience of it. Yesterday I got uh, an email to say uh, a client was pregnant and it never, tick, it never fails to tickle me pink. Every time I get uh, a news that a client uh, or a customer of one of my programs it is pregnant. Um, it's like a, a friend telling me that. I want to work with clients. I worked with a lady for a few sessions. And we do build up quite a close relationship. Um, it, we kind of laugh together, sometimes we cry together, and we talk about some really deep things. Um, and sometimes we need to dive deep. It doesn't have to be painful, but we dive deep to help let go of some of the, the baggage of thoughts that we've been carrying over some time. So it's a quite, for me, it's quite a special relationship with clients. And when I find out they're pregnant, it's, it's, it never fails to, to tickle me pink. Even when I get an email from a stranger, from someone who's bought one of my programs, and they, find, they tell me they're pregnant. Again, it's like the first time my first client ever, ever told me, with my, yeah, my first client, fertility client ever told me that. It, it's, 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 it's always, always makes my day. Um, but then this morning I found out uh, another client had a, a failed pregnancy test after uh, IVF and I feel sad. I, I do feel sad. She feels sad right now. But, but I know she's going to be okay and deep down she knows she's going to be okay and, and this feeling is going to pass. Feeling sad is okay. Um, feelings are spontaneous because they're, they're created by thinking and thinking comes and goes. We can't control our thinking no matter how you try. You cannot control your thinking and it's not the fact we feel sad or anxious or or whatever it's what we think about it and i know this feeling is going to pass i know she's going to be okay she knows she's going to be okay because her well-being is within her she she really knows that now and she knows that she can't predict the future and um, whatever happens she will be okay we can't predict the future we no one can predict what's going to happen in the next five minutes let alone next month or next six months so it's not what we feel that's the problem, it's what we think about it. Our feelings are like a barometer to the quality of our thinking. And we know this a cloud is passing through and, and that's okay. But if we think that's all there is, if we think it's a storm and it's not going anywhere, that sadness can turn into sorrow and we get locked into it. But the truth is, even in a storm, the clouds are moving. They may not look like it, it may not feel like it, but that storm is is moving on because you can't hold on to a feeling, even if you want to. You can't hold on to, long, hold on to a feeling forever, even if you want to. It, it will pass. But in the moment, if your thinking thinks that's all there is, it hangs around for a lot long longer than it really needs to. We have the opportunity or the possibility to see a situation at different levels of consciousness, to have a different experience of it. We float up and down the levels of consciousness um, without us doing anything. So whatever you're feeling now, whatever you're doing, and however you're feeling about your journey, just remember, you know, it's not what you feel, it's, it's what you think about your feelings. And there's nothing you need to do for feelings just to pass, and you will float back up to the surface. You will begin to see things in a different light sooner than you imagine. If you just recognise, it's just a thought, it's just a feeling passing through, like a cloud passing through on a breeze. And... In the breaks between the clouds, you'll begin to notice that peace of mind more and more. And that's our default setting. That's who we are. We have that innate well-being within us. And it's the clouds, it's the thinking, it's the feeling that masks it in the moment. But those thoughts, those feelings cannot last forever. And they're not who we are. They're not who you are. When they begin to pass, that's when you begin to access your true identity. That's when you begin to recognise who you really are. This person that came into this world with innate well-being within you. So you can begin to trust whatever happens, wherever the roller coaster of life takes you, you're going to be okay. Because you have everything you need to be content, fulfilled and have that peace of mind that we're born with.